So we have completed two units of syllabus. Now we are moving on to the third unit, also called as tree models. It is uh, a bit easier uh, when compared with other units. So you need to just uh, a little have little more concentration as well. So the tree models, now we are going to talk here is mostly about decision trees, my dear friends. Of course, some other trees are available, that is regression trees, no, something like that. But, but, right, we are going mostly with decision trees, my dear friends. What do you mean by a decision tree? No, before going to a decision tree, what is a tree, my dear friends? What is a tree? You should know about the tree. What do you mean by a tree? See, what is the difference between a tree and a graph? Now, tree, tree means root node and children. Parent, children. Parent, children. That is the process. And those nodes do not have any children are said to be leaf nodes. Let us know the terminology. Decision tree is a supervised learning technique, my dear friends, supervised learning technique, supervised learning technique that can be used for both classification and regression problems. But generally it is used only for classification problems. So it is a tree structure classifier where internal nodes represent the futures of a data set, branches represent the decision rules, and leaf nodes represent the outcome, something like this. This is internal node, this is So this is internal node and this is branch children. So internal road represents the features of data set. This is called future. Branches represent decision rules. This represents decision rules. And leaf nodes, leaf nodes, leaf nodes, sometimes they are represented with uh, semicircles or sometimes with uh, uh, filled, filled rectangles, filled rectangles, filled rectangles, my dear friends, filled rectangles. So both are used. So this is called decision tree. Decision tree nodes are used to make, no, in decision tree, there are two nodes. One is decision node and leaf node. This is called decision node and the, the last node, which do not have any divisions. That node is called leaf node and all other nodes are, are called decision nodes. There are only two types of nodes. One is decision node, another one is leaf node. Leaf node. Right. Decision nodes are used to make decisions. And they have multiple branches, my dear friends. This is a decision node. This may have multiple branches. That is on one condition, second condition, third condition, fourth conditions. You may have any number of conditions. Whereas leaf nodes are output of these decisions and do not contain any, any further branches. For example, this is another node. This may have any number of branches and this may be a leaf node. This may be a leaf node. So this is how a tree is constructed. Right, now, the main important point here is leaf nodes will not have any further branches. The decisions or the tests performed on the basis of futures of the given test. The decisions or tests are performed 
on the basis of features of the given data set. It is a graphical representation for getting all possible solution to a problem based on the given conditions. The best way, the best example is where decision tree is used is cartel diagram, which stands for classification and regression tree algorithm. This is the tree, decision tree technique, machine learning technique is used in an algorithm called as CART, CART. So it stands for classification and regression tree algorithm. Regression tree algorithm, right? Next, see, another definition. A decision tree is a flow chart like tree structure, my dear friends. A decision tree is a flow chart like tree structure where each internal node denotes a test on future. Test on feature, test on feature, and each branch represents an outcome of the test, and each node, leaf node or terminal node holds a class label. The top most node is called of the tree is called a root node. So this is called top node is called root. Hope you understood this. Uh, you have uh, already uh, no talked about in data structures, discrete mathematical structures, and DA. So might be, and even sometimes uh, uh, maybe B plus trees even in DVMS, whatever it is, right? What is a binary tree then? What is a binary tree? A tree has only two branches. A tree has only two branches. No multiple branches is called a binary tree, right? Some techniques of our machine learning will result in a binary tree. Binary tree, my dear friends. So a path is traced from the root to a leaf node. See, suppose if I, all right, I'll tell you, right? Now, given a tuple X, okay, tuple X, for which the associated level is unknown, not known. Whether we give what exact prediction will be given. See, we can easily see. The attribute values of the tuple are tested against the decision tree. A path is traced from the root to leaf node. So root which holds the class prediction of the tree. Very simple. We compare first with the root node. No, that gives you the way. Where shall we go? So whether to go to left side or right side or uh, no, which branch I should go. And if we go according to the path, you'll be reaching the leaf node. That is nothing but your final label. This is called, no, very easy to trace a, uh, a condition in decision tree. Now, for suppose, for this is a, a problem we discussed in concept learning. Now, can we construct a tree like, a tree structure for this? A tree structure for this. If you see here, see gills, gills, there is a condition called E, gills is equal to no. No, gills no and gills yes. If there is S, there are zero positives and four negatives, my dear friends. P1, P2, P3, P4, N1, N2, N3, N4. Four negatives, my dear friends. All negatives are covered when gill is S. If the gill is no, now come back to this D. Gill is no, then bake equal to S. Gill is no, bake is equal to S. If the gill is, bake is yes, and bake is also no, then we will be covering no positives as well as no negatives. Bake no, there is no negative, no example there. So we just say there are no positives as well as no negatives. Now if you, you take C, the condition here, C. C, length is three, five. 
and we say not three five, my dear friends. Not three five. Not three five means gills is no, beak is yes, my dear friends. Here, yeah. gills no, beak yes. Then only you we come here, my dear friends. Then if yes, this is okay. If not as yes, three five, that might be length is four. Length four. When length is four, there are no one positive case and one negative case. One negative case and one positive case. And similarly, if you consider B, B, B is C. Length already is given three five, and T gills is no back is yes. Teeth few or many. If there is many teeth. Then it covers two positives and zero negatives. And if length is teeth is few, then the final condition, the final condition, length is equal to three, then it covers the particular no positive one positive and zero negative. And if the length is five, then it covers one positive and zero negative. This is a Sample tree construction. Sample tree construction, my dear friends. Sample tree construction by using the concept, the concept, you know, hypothesis. The concept hypothesis. Very easy to construct a tree. Now we can see decision tree. This is called decision tree, my dear friends. And this is called a decision tree. See, no, what are all positives? The labels here are only two labels. Positive label. And a negative label. What are the positive labels here? See here. So that is written as C. If the gills no, see here. What are all the positives? Gills no, back yes. Gills no, back yes. Gills no. Gills no. So we have excluded back, back because all backs are yes only. Kavati, we can exclude big. We can exclude because because there is no example in our uh, uh, model which is having big is equal to no. That's why we can remove this and uh, we can see here. Gills no length three or four. See length length three or four. Three if it is length three, we can definitely say it is a positive case. Positive case because teeth few na many na we can say this is positive. Similarly, if length is four and teeth is few, it is negative. It is negative. It is negative. You can see that also. Let me show you. Let me show you the exact. Uh, one second. See, this is what we are we are talking about. See, this is what we are talking we were talking about. See here, P one. These are all called positives, and these are all called negatives. These are all called positives, and these are all called negatives. See here, decision tree construction is very simple, my dear friends. Very very simple. See here, Gill Snow. Gills no. How many are there with back is equal to yes? All our back is equal to yes only. So we can exclude back is equal to yes. Now, right. See if see if you see here, gills no length is equal to three. Gills no length is equal to three. So we have. Uh, Excluded big and teeth. Now, if length is three, my dear friends, length three, there are only two cases. These two are positive, irrespective of teeth, many or few. See, if you see here, 
length is three, length is three, and teeth many, teeth few. These two teeth many are na, few are na. If the length is three, it is a positive case. Then we can write this length equal to three eight. It is a positive. It is positive. Very simple. And if you see here, length four are na puru. Length four are na puru children. Length equal to four. Then gills no. Back is equal to yes. Teeth many are they ne? Many are they ne? Many are they ne? No, this is four. That is why we are we have included one more uh, literal or one more feature. And if that feature is few, it is negative. It is negative. And if that feature is many, it it is positive. Positive. This is how uh, once if a tree is constructed like this, once a tree is constructed, this is a decision tree, my dear friends. Very simple to for our uh, computer science students, construction of a decision tree is very very simple. Now, once if it is constructed, my dear friends, it can no many things can be extracted from this decision tree. What are they? If you see here. dnf disjunctive normal form disjunctive normal form if you see here what are all the conditions for positive what is the condition for this positive gills no length is 3 gills no and length is 3 what is the condition for this positive my dear friends this positive gills no length is 5 gills no length is 5 gills no Length is five. What is the condition for this positive? Gills no length four and teeth many. Gills no length four and teeth many. This is the condition for that. So ordering all these things will give you D and F disjunctive normal form. Disjunctive normal form. The same by using this A intersection B union. A intersection C is equal to A intersection B union C. Our formula, Ganga. If we apply here, we'll get another form of the same, the same conjunct, the same, no conjunction. Similarly, if we apply the negation, negations for all these things, we will end up with another type of conjunction, and we can even get conjunctive normal form. By using derived, by using De Morgan laws. Hope you understood De Morgan laws. A bar union B bar A union B whole bar is equal to A intersect A bar intersection B bar. A intersection B whole bar is equal to A bar union B bar. Hope you understood, my dear friends. right this is called no conjunctive these are the advantages of maintaining a decision tree decision tree right why are decision tree classifiers are more popular this decision tree uh, no machine learning algorithm is more popular why the construction of decision tree classifier does not require any domain knowledge no domain knowledge is required decision trees can handle high dimensional data it can handle high dimensional data easy to understand by a human being easy to understand by a human being easy to understand by a human being in general decision tree classifiers have good accuracy decision trees are strictly more expressive than conjunctive space concept conjunctive concept kante kuda it is more expressive this also suffers suffers with one data if the data is inconsistent if the data is inconsistent something like this one label 
if you get the same label see alane kaakunda one inconsistent ante for different inputs if the answer is same for different inputs if the answer is same then it is definitely inconsistent in such case we hypothesis we go to the hypoth paths of hypothesis we eliminate some conditions so that we will get the exact path of hypothesis then it can be easily right now now what do you mean by a feature tree so we call here in decision tree a, a term called as feature tree what do you mean by a feature tree a feature tree is a tree such that see each internal node each internal node the nodes are not leaves and is labeled with a feature see he is labeled with a this is feature so this is feature this is feature this is feature this is feature these are all called features these are all called features my dear friends these are all called features now each edge coming from an internal node is labeled with a lateral see what are the laterals see this is lateral this is a lateral this is another lateral these are edges these are called edges this is another lateral this is see laterals this is called lateral lateral means condition only lateral this is called these are all called laterals laterals now now each leaf node the set of laterals at a node is called split split the set of laterals at a node is called split children around the split and end the set of laterals split length is has three splits three splits on three there is a split on four there is a split on five there is another split these are all called these are also called as splits splits very very important and splits each leaf node of the tree represents a logical expression which is the conjunction of laterals encountered on the path from the root to the leaf ante see what is the you know expression logical expression for this these are called leaf nodes which do not have any branches which do not have any branches these are called leaf nodes leaf nodes leaf nodes which do not have any further branch lay not one but remember my dear friends the leaf node is a logical expression how see what is the logical expression derived from the root root gills no length 3 this is the logical expression of this and which is labeled as positive which is labeled as positive so this is how no terminology feature tree this is called feature tree each leaf of the tree represents a logical expression which is the conjunction of laterals encountered on the path path from the root to the root to the root of the tree to the leaf leaf the extension of conjunction is called the instance space segment associated with the leaf the extension of that conjunction is called the instance space and and so the positive this is labeled as positive all positive conditions all positive conditions are called are called in the uh, no space conjunction is called instant instance space segment very simple future tree future tree see features 
this is feature this branches are represented with laterals and leaf nodes are represented leaf nodes leaf nodes ilanti vachi leaf node ni represent the uh, so this is how it is right this is called feature tree now how to construct a decision tree my dear friends how to construct a decision tree decision tree is constructed decision tree is constructed by using what is called divide and conquer algorithm divide and conquer you might have already learned this divide and conquer with quicksort in data structures not only in quicksort in uh, you know da you might have learned in uh, you know right some assumptions are made some conditions what do you mean by homogeneous of d what is d our no what is d our c data set data set is our d for example now returns true returns true if the instance in d are homogeneous enough to be labeled with a single label homogeneous means which cannot be divided further which cannot be divided further now we can say c e homogeneous d yes it can be labeled with a single label and it returns true otherwise it returns false very 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 important next label of d returns the most appropriate label of a set of instances d see manu this is what it is it automatically returns when we call this label of d and automatically it labels the best split what do you mean by a split so this is called split my dear friends this is called split this is called split see here two splits here three splits here two splits so what is the best split best split it's an algorithm returns the best set of laterals to be put at the root of the tree so ee moodu mana assumptions ee moodu unna anukoni well let us use these three to construct an algorithm we will see the algorithm right input is data d features set of features are f now output entity feature tree with the labeled leaves so this is our output this is our output this is a feature tree all features gills length and teeth see here see features are gills length and teeth gills length and teeth now feature tree with labeled leaves if homogeneous of d data d data means the we have seen no this is called data this is our data p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 this is called data my dear friends this is data now if homogeneous of d d cannot be divided further then then return label d return label d my dear friends return label d see if homogeneous of d of d then return label d do you understand this is very important